What is up, y'all? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. Last one for the day. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Like I said, Saturdays are getting a lot more depressing. You guessed it. We're finishing My Hero Academia Season 6, the finale for this season. No Man is an Island. That's what the episode title is. Episode 25 is our last one for Season 6. Then we're going to be on break for a good while until the next one comes. But then again, this has been an amazing season. It's, it's been so much fun. Uh, probably the best one yet, and I, I can't wait for this show to continue. But without further ado, we got to get into the finale first. So let's kind of recap what we went through last episode just real quick. Basically, it was Deku versus the civilians of uh, the shelter at UA. Not wanting to let him in because he's a big target of the villains. Probably the biggest target. Uh, and they're, you know, very fearful of their safety and, and protection and whatnot, right? But first of all, y'all are the ones being protected by this kid and the heroes that stay there as well. Not just Deku, but a lot of it is shouldered on Deku, yes, because he carries a big burden. So I don't think they were, for, you know, obviously they were first reacting on fear. And that's why it took a while for them to understand and get an idea like, okay, let's, we should be okay with letting him stay here. Like, this is his school. He was here first. Like, this is where he's supposed to be able to rest and, and and have a peace of mind, safe, like, place to rest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because he's the one that's trying so hard to protect all of us. You know what I'm saying? And I guess they just, you know, they didn't, just didn't realize that first because they were just reacting off of fear right away. So, really, really cool stuff to see from uh, Uranica last episode. She did her fucking thing, gave her speech, got everybody in line. And made everybody understand. I mean, the voice acting last episode was through the roof. It was it was really, really good and, and very emotional. And it almost made me fucking break down. Uh, as I'm sure it actually did for a lot of people. I mean, it was very emotional. Uh, and they, they depicted it perfectly. It was very good. Very well done. And I enjoyed it a lot. <clears throat> and they finally got through to them. And so Deku's actually able to stay where he's supposed to be at his own hero school so very very good stuff to see and then pretty much towards the end of the last episode we uh kind of saw the conclusion of that and then also all might uh leaving and uh continuing to try and convince um anti-hero vigilantes or you know whatever uh civilians that don't want to go to the shelters and whatnot trying to wrap up the re rest of them and, and, and convince them and whatnot and that's what he was going to set out to do and as we can tell Stain is keeping a close eye on him and uh, is on his tail. Uh, and so it seems like he's interested in trying to confront him or maybe killing him, whatever. Uh, he's obviously keeping tabs on him for a reason. So I'm assuming that's what we're going to finish up with and, and actually find out what's going on with that in this episode. And then also see how they set us up for the end of the season as a whole and where we might be going in the next direction. You know, I'm very excited because, you know, like I said, this is the best season yet, but it's also just the beginning. So I'm curious to see if they give us a little taste of something uh for the next season um because everything from here is gas i uh, i've loved every fucking moment since this part of the story onwards so very very excited to see how they set us up for that and see how this season season concludes i, I can't i can't complain it's just gonna be very sad that we don't have as much action-packed saturdays but maybe we get some shows that actually start airing on saturdays that replace them or replace these shows for the spring season or something that could be possible i'm not sure though <clears throat> but regardless very excited let's get into it if y'all enjoy it please like down below comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when the next one's dropping let's get it deku's mask oh that's right this is where they were at this is where they stopped him オールマイトよ。うん。There <laughs> Yo. He cannot believe his shit. This is, yeah, because he, he really holds All Might on that pedestal of like be, he is what he envisions an actual true hero. So he's disappointed in like this version of him. Yeah, 
Mm, right back to where it started, right? Oh, someone's actually coming in and keeping the statue sacred and, and trying not to disrespect it. Oh, really? Oh my god, it's that girl! I, it just clicked. At the fight against All for One in Season 3. Wow, man, that's crazy. Mm. Yo, Stain's speaking some facts right now. The fact that Stain is the one that's preaching to him right now, bro, and instilling his confidence again? Nah, dude, that's fucking crazy, bro. Talk about character development. うん。だが、神が地に伏せ、人の会話聞く心を燃えたのなら、あるいは。君、なんでそのことを。その<笑> Yo, Stain is a fucking guy, bro. Huge respect. He said, stand the fuck back up and stop sulking, bro. Take that info and if you true hero, come back and defeat me. Because I have killed heroes myself. Like, bro, Stain's a savage, dog. I love that shit. That was lit. That was so lit. All right, where do we go from here? That that they wrapped up that you know scenario and encounter of with All Might and Stain pretty quickly, quicker than I thought it was going to be. Oh my God! <laughs> You're like yo, motherfucker, you got a fucking babe, bro. He's about to call him Deku again. <laughs> Yo, tell that motherfucker to answer the phone. My damn mentor. I don't know if I'm going to お前登場その私自身が決めつけていた。ステインよ。ポーズインフォ。手でも私も戦うぞ。とんかつ弁当、とても力になりました。僕はきっとオールマイトから離れてしまったから。守りましょう。There <笑> Because he holds him on such a high pedestal. Angry Yami? Let's go! Everybody on the same page! So we love to see. Hey, they gonna throw a concert? <laughs> they gonna throw a concert? Oh, 
Mm, so they want to do that again. That's a good idea. Yo, why does Tokiyami look so dripped out, bro? He got his hands in his pockets and shit. He looks so cold. Yo, me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Minato's trying to look all cool and shit like Todoroki. <laughs> Oh, nah, dude. That shit just, like, ended me right there. That shit was so funny. Holy fuck, bro. That shit geeked the fuck out of me. ガラキの成長速度とセントラルの農務研究を称号完成に到達するには最低2ヶ月の安静が必要とガラキセントラルの回答がガッチアルタロス襲撃から2ヶ月とするとオールフォーワン死ガラキをセンテで撃てる猶
I'm telling you, this shit about to get crazy. God damn it, why does the season have to end, bro? We gotta wait more. We gotta wait more for some even crazier shit, dude. Oh my god. Let's go, baby. We're going in the right direction. Let's go. God damn it, bro. Bittersweet, man. Bittersweet. The season's ending, man. Fuck. That was so lit, though. I was not expecting to get that last little tease at the end there. We actually see Star and Stripe animated, bro. That was amazing. So lit. To be continued, seventh season. Right there at the end. Hey, at least it confirms that shit, bro. We're getting a new season. We're getting a seventh. It just didn't tell us when. Uh, which maybe will come, maybe he's already, maybe he's already confirmed in an article. Maybe, maybe they've already done that, but if not, then we'll find out sometime soon. So there we are, man. Season six has come to a close. All right, guys. What uh, another amazing episode of fucking my hero, bro. I mean, that was the perfect way to end it out. I feel like blue lock and my hero, both these seasons ending, uh, with these, with these last episodes, these finales, I think they both did a very good job of ending it at a very good spot and uh, keeping you excited for what's to come in the, in the, in the next uh, iterations of the story in the next seasons for both of these shows and you know keep not like giving you too much of a cliffhanger but like giving you enough to where you're excited and you're like oh man i can't wait for the next season bro like they did a great job ending both of those this episode in particular uh watching my hero i mean it was great uh you know we saw the encounter between stain and all might and stain is you know it's crazy how much he's um been through and how much he's he, he learned when he got outside of tartarus and he was in disbelief about all might retiring and the way he looked now and you know he, he he's he's the one that kind of instilled all might's confidence back in him and showed him that there's the last person that he saved comes every day to clean the statue uh of him and uh you know has faith in him and, and just in the hero society in general whereas you know there is a lot of people in society that don't have faith in heroes anymore and are the ones that are vandalizing and doing stuff like that but that's like that's not helping anybody you're just taking your frustration out like a teenager like you don't know where to put your anger so you're just taking it out on your surroundings so stain it's it's ironic that stain was the one that had to like open all might's eyes and make him realize like you know, you, you started this journey and it's going to uh, create an even bigger fire by the people that you've connected and saved. Like that woman, for example, and then all of his students, Deku, his disciple, I mean, all that stuff. So it kind of instilled his confidence again and like his his purpose and, and the fact that Stain is the one that did that is just amazing. And then he ended up giving him that information uh, about uh, Tartarus and the um, amount of time that they have uh, basically to prepare for this sort of thing. Gave, gave All Might that information, which then in turn, like, he told, like, Deku and, and, and the students about it, and, and also the police and everybody else, uh, Hawks and, you know, the top three best genius endeavor. So they're all on the same page now. Everybody's looking good. Deku actually got a bath. He's fucking clean now. He had a nice rest. He had a nice fucking night's sleep. I mean, he's chilling. He's, he's back to where he should be. He's got a, he, he, his, his mindset and his personality is back to where it should be, to where he wanted to apologize to All Might, where All Might was also feeling doubt because he felt like he couldn't support uh, Deku. Uh, so they're both back on the same page and, and both <clears throat> have uh, good intentions and, and back to how they, they should be, you know? So that was really good to see. And uh, a lot of funny moments between this uh, Class A, of course. I mean, Minita me, me fucking killed me right there when he was trying to look like Todoroki like they were literally identical like standing position like that shit was hilarious bro oh my god that shit was so funny basically I guess like the their version in this universe of the United Nations you know like all the countries like leaders like talking to each other trying to figure out like paperwork if they like need like to send like their top heroes to help out all my or you know Japan and whatnot because they're in such fucking turmoil right now with all for one shit because this is where he reigns supreme even though he has connections all over the world and all of their countries too so you know there's definitely people that want to help out uh all my as you know one of the countries said like our red dot wants like oh, oh, how come i can't go help my friend like hurry hurry up this shit or hurry up this process with paperwork fuck the paperwork whatever we gotta we gotta get over there uh so much so to where we saw uh the u.s's leader kind of like nervously fucking mention like yeah um ours has already left <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see we actually get to uh introduce to star and stripe which is the number one hero in the u.s 
and uh, definitely looks a lot like All Might uh, in terms of like the whole U.S. get up and, and the you know red, white, and blue and all that kind of stuff and uh, you know blonde hair and shit. And she's literally standing right on top of a jet. Like she seems like a fucking badass. And you just know, like bro, nah, I cannot wait for next season, bro. I'm glad they at least showed us that. Like I wasn't expecting to see her animated like that. Uh, and, and, but that was like the perfect amount of just like reveal that I needed. Like that was, that was so well done. That got me so hyped and excited. That was, that was amazing to see. So as you can see, she's already in route. She is in route to fucking, uh, help out, uh, Japan. So, uh, and then pretty much the last little thing that we got, I was uh, all my talking to, um, uh, whatever his face is and, and the cat police officer at the police department where they were kind of dissecting uh, what how how they got that information of the storage drives or whatever uh, and it, it basically deciphers on how Tartar was was broken into or how that even happened in the first place and it was because of an EMP like radio wave attack from Shigaraki Shigaraki's body and all for one's body simultaneously inside and outside and all for one was 500 meters below sea level so he started to connect the dots. He was thinking about it. He was like, so are you saying their consciousnesses were synced? Uh, and All Might was basically like, yes, but like, that's kind of similar to how One for All works, but like how like my thoughts and feelings are transferred to my consciousness inside One for All, but it's not the other way around. So if that is the case with All for One and Shigaraki, and you know, they, they're the only ones that know the true information through these radio waves, then they really only have three days to repair. So it's on the horizon. Like there's about to be all out war and like the huge battle is about to go the fuck down. So uh, as they were saying, they were trying to, you know, this, I think this is right before we got that. Uh, maybe this was, I think this conversation was before we got the United Nations conversation and the reveal of Star and Stripe because as, uh, isn't his name Sukauchi or something like that? The, the captain of the police department or whatever. He was basically saying like, yeah, three days. Yeah, no, nah, we, we see this is the problem we need time we need time to repair three days is not enough we need we need time to like be able to uh bolster our uh defenses and, and just prepare uh three days is not enough time so like he was just saying like we need time and that's when it cuts to the united nations and they're trying to figure out you know who who, who, the, who they're able to send from which country uh to help out to buy time and as you can see who's in route star and stripe baby star and fucking stripe bro nah that shit was so lit i'm so glad we got to fucking see her bro i know what i, I know i know what i'm using for thumbnail that's for damn sure but yeah all in all amazing finale they ended off the season uh at a perfect spot and I can't wait for more. Obviously, we're getting the seventh season. I don't know exactly when. Uh, I'll try and find out like after this reaction and look it up. Maybe they've already announced it. Because My Hero usually has a pretty good good idea on how uh, long it's going to be into a new season, or like a, a rough idea on when they're going to release it. So maybe they haven't. Maybe they already have that rough idea. Like I don't know. I would say like what fucking. Uh, um, this was winter of 2022, 2023, and I think season five was the fall of 2021, right? That sounds about right. Yeah. Um, so maybe it's going to be spring of 2024. Like maybe that's like the rough sketch area of when the next season's going to come out. Uh, so like maybe like a year from now, I would assume, um, or maybe longer than that, maybe like, you know, a year and a half, like the summer of 2024. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely look that up after this. Um, but yeah, dude, what an amazing finale. What an amazing season. Can't complain. That was fucking the best season yet. I enjoyed every second of it. And can't wait for y'all to see more and see more of my reactions to this being animated. Because everything, like I said, everything from here on is just fucking gas, bro. I cannot wait. Um, that's going to do it for me, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What you think of the season? I mean, this was a banger all around. Uh, please subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you know when the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.